presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to fill a text box with a motion graphic and make sure that it doesn't restart on every slide. Hi, my name is Paul Allen Clifford, and this is something that I've been wondering about because the positive of the slides layer is that everything gets removed when you move from one slide to another. But the negative is everything gets removed when you move from one slide to another. So, in practice, for text, that's perfect. But if you put video on the slides layer, then it's going to restart every single time. Now, in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to put different lower thirds on uh, different layers with a full screen graphic at the same time. But someone asked me about this, and I hadn't taken the time to figure it out. So, I'll admit this is a hack. This isn't what Renewed Vision intends. If you have problems, it's my fault. It's not theirs. Don't reach out to their tech support. But I thought that we would uh, head over to my computer and I would show you just exactly how we can do this. So here we are and what you might notice is I've already done some work here. And basically if I go into edit, what I have here is a regular text box and I filled this with the video input, and I'll show you why I did that here in just a second. But you might think that the way that you do this is you just uh, fill it with media, and then you select your media. Um, so let's say I wanted to do this. Um, actually, this one, I could just... Uh, Drag that over here, and click Open, and it's filled, it's set to Stretch to Fill. Actually, let's uh, do Scale to Fill, okay? So, that's what we would expect. Now, when I go back to Show... That's just like it is here. And uh, let's create a theme from that template, uh, from that selection. Sorry. Um, restarting video lower third. And the reason that I'm calling it that is because that's exactly what it's going to do. So, fine select a couple of these and apply that theme restarting video lower third you'll notice that when I click on this and then this every time I change it it starts all over and that can get kind of annoying so why is that well as I mentioned earlier Every time you click on a slide, it removes everything on the previous slide and puts everything in the current slide. So that's less than ideal. So how do we make it to where this can be smooth? Well, as I say, a little bit of a hack, but let's go back into editor and I'll show you um, exactly what we need to do. First off, we click here. And instead of media, if I fill that with color, that's not going to do it. Gradient, that's not going to do it. Web, not really. What I need to do is I need to find something from another layer. And in this case, the video input is perfect. I could do slide object, but there's no other object here. And that would restart. So video input is the winner. So we're just going to do that. Now, which video input? Well, let me show you what I did. I went into uh, Screens, Configure Screens, and I added in 
this one that I'm calling background. Now that's a siphon um, screen, so it will send it out via siphon on a Mac. That's probably the preferred way to do it if you're going to send something out of ProPresenter to the same computer, even the same piece of software. That's a hint. Um, you could also just as easily do this with uh, NDI if you were going to if you were on a PC, that would work as well. But I'm just going to stick with Siphon. Okay, so I have a Siphon out. Now, if I go to uh, Edit Looks, what I need to make sure is that the Siphon out screen that I have only has one layer enabled. And in this case, I'm going to use the announcements layer. I could have used the props layer. I could have used the media layer if I wasn't using that for anything else. But um, I'm going to use the announcements layer since I don't need to use that for anything else. I'm also going to disable that here on the nursery uh, screen. So the, the announcements layer only gets sent out via siphon. So let's save that, make sure that's all good, and now I'm going to go back in here. Now we go up to ProPresenter Preferences, and go to Video Input, and let's make sure that I have a video input, which is the Siphon ProPresenter uh, video input. Again, if I was on a PC, I'd choose NDI video. Um, but Siphon Pro Presenter. So that is input number two. And if I go over here, I go to input background. So what I'm doing is I'm sending it out of Pro Presenter and then back into Pro Presenter so that I can fill this with it. So let me show you what that actually does. So if I click on this one, nothing. But that is because I have the announcements layer up here. So I can uh, choose this one. And this one. Here we go. So that one... I didn't set the settings correctly, but you can see that when I change it, it's not perfect. Uh, it's like it hesitates a, just a piece of a second, but that's much better than the other way of doing it, which was this one, and then this one, and that one. So that's how you could take the video from another layer and move it on to the, into the fill of the slides layer. One other thing that I should probably say is notice how I have all these backgrounds up here. Um, they're all in the announcement layer so what I can do even is I can change the background anytime I want to. So, and if I want to add uh, more in there, then I could absolutely do that as well and change that on the fly. So that's how you would add a motion background that continues to loop into the fill of a text box in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like um, my ProPresenter 7 keyboard shortcut. So just head over to churchtechu.com and I'll put the specific address down here and then you can download my ProPresenter 6 and 7 keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.